This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max that I ordered about like a week ago. But I got it late because um, for some unknown reason, but so we're gonna box it. Oh, <laughs> okay, so the box is like pizza, but oh, it's not pizza, it's a little scratch here. This is the 16 Pro Max, I got it in desert titanium, but instead of other colors. A letter from Verizon, let's see here. This is warranty, okay, whatever this thing is. Um, hello, let's get started. I am not doing that, obviously. Oh, this box is gonna go. Okay, iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, no more talking, I'm just gonna get straight to unboxing. Um, Oh my goodness, that is crazy. All right, it's actually kind of weird because who needs these? So uh, the camera control, power button, action button, volume button. This is the brand new, like natural titanium color. It's like a light peach. It's not like desert, it's like a light peach. So yeah. All right, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna put this away. Now this year, Apple did not include a thing that we all deserve. Apple stickers. Now I don't know if that's gonna be continuing with the MacBook, iPad, and like other products, but we still have this kind of like newly wrapped uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. And we have paperwork. I'm not gonna rip it open because it's just like how to get started. Of course, we're not gonna do that. So the iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 6.9 inch display, unlike 6.7 like last year. The Pros get 6.7. And um, nothing new except for this camera control button and this is Sapphire Crystal, so it looks different. And the action button and USB-C is just, you know, it's the same thing. So we're gonna turn it on. First. Okay. So this is like a light peach. I really like it. Wait, so never mind. But it does have this little like cool animation first let's just move on to the camera there is this thing new this new thing here i don't know what this is oh undertones okay that's cool video hd 4k and uh 60 120. oh that is super smooth you guys can tell on camera because you're on 30 right now but yeah so 2x optical zoom only that's only 2x zoom on the um uh, 4K 120, but I don't even use zoom. So it's still 15x digital zoom, 25x digital zoom. Okay, it's still the same, so I'm not gonna, probably not gonna upgrade from my 15. Now I had the iPhone 16 Pro Max for the past 48 hours. Now, what do I think? Yes, the slimmer bezels are better. The camera can shoot up to 4K 120 instead of the 4K 60 on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, it doesn't have Apple Intelligence coming out of the box. Now, Apple Intelligence will be coming to the iPhone 15s and the iPhone 16s this fall, which is soon. What do I think about the camera button? Now, the camera button's placement isn't that good because it we take photos like this. Why isn't it right over here, right? But I feel like who is going to use a capture button, scroll all the way to 25 times zoom while taking a photo? No one is ever going to do that. But I feel like the, ca ca the capture button or the camera control button is kind of like 
bad because you already have the volume button, you already have your hands. Why would you need a <clears throat> another dedicated button to zoom and take photos and adjust your brightness setting, whatever it is? We don't need that, but I feel like the new cameras are good, the slimmer bezels are good, the display is really high quality. Quality Storage is still the same, and I wanted to point out something about the capture button. So when you click on it, you have your camera. But when you zoom, it's just, you have to tap, tap, and then you have haptic feedback. Haptic feedback on that is probably not that good because you already have like this over here. You have you got the scroll wheel type thing. Obviously, I'll give this thing an 8 out of 10. It's just missing some like features. It's still USB-C. I think it's USB 3 or rather USB 2. Yeah, but I think that's it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys didn't like it. I don't care. See you guys in the next one. Bye.